Good morning, everyone. Today I'm gonna be making fathead dough tortillas. I'll be using Rachel D's uh, Stupid Easy Bread Recipe, and so I'll link that below, and then we can get busy making tortillas and having tacos for Sunday morning breakfast. This morning I'm using Rachel D's uh, Stupid Easy Bread Recipe. So what I've started with is two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. I went ahead and melted it a little bit, um, just so it's easier to mix. You're gonna add in one to two cups of almond flour. Now, sometimes I get crazy and I mix it up with uh, a cup of almond flour and a cup of uh, pork, crushed pork rinds or some pecan flour. But just for the recipe's sake, I'm gonna show you how it's done with just the almond flour. Two eggs and a tablespoon of baking powder. I also like to season it a little. This is a Redmond's garlic salt, just so they have a little bit of flavor. Um, now I didn't use all of the almond flour quite yet because I want to show you how you kind of just measure it out and see once the recipe comes together, you can stop using the almond flour. So it comes together super simple. You just mix it up. Once it's all come together, add a little bit more. So it's not quite so sticky. not going to resemble tortilla dough exactly but it's going to look something like this so it's not quite so sticky um, just add almond flour until the dough comes together and then you want to start forming your tortilla dough balls and that's just going to be a guess for you I would form them all into balls around the size of the palm of your hand. Smaller for smaller tortillas. You can see that I used about maybe a cup and a half, a cup and three quarters of almond flour. I didn't quite use it all up. And then I rolled out my tortilla balls. I got nine of them from this batch. I probably could have made some smaller and ended up with 10. You're also going to need two small sheets of parchment paper and a rolling pin so you can get started rolling out your tortillas. So to roll them out, all you need to do is put down one piece of parchment paper and then the second piece on top and you just roll it out. If you have a tortilla press, this works much easier and you can just press them out. I'm doing it the old fashioned way kind of like I used to watch my mom with tortillas. And once it's flat, you'll just put it on the grill. And do the same for the next one. Keep rolling them out. They'll tend to bubble over a little bit, just like real tortillas, so you'll know when it's time to flip them. roll out a few of these and then I'll show you what they look like once we flip them over. You can see that these are puffier than before. I might have toasted them up a little too much but basically you just flip them over. You can also use a spatula if you're not a finger flipper. And let them cook just a little bit more on the second side. And then take them off and enjoy them. This is the second batch, and I've already flipped one. We'll flip another. These are quite not as toasty as the first set.
So I started in on a test run with a tortilla. You can fold it, you can rip it, you can use it for tacos, you can use it for breakfast, anything you wanna use a soft flour tortilla for, or flour-ish tortilla. These are perfect. Try it, let me know how you like it. Let me know what else you wanna see, and I'll see you guys next time.